So the nice part about Screencast-O-Matic is since it records the entire screen, anything you do on the screen um, can be useful. So you can, one thing that you can do with it is if you have a PowerPoint that's already set up, you can go through the PowerPoint in the beginning, and PowerPoint has a pen tool. Um, so you can talk through some slides and then write on the slides, and so it makes it really nice to be able to do some of that there. Um, Sometimes PowerPoint doesn't give you that many options, though, for, like, writing tools. You just have a couple different pen colors, and um, because you, and it doesn't write the best. Like, you can't get different color, like, sizes for this, so they all appear as the same writing size. Um, you can highlight, but it, it's not always the best thing. And we don't always teach off of PowerPoint anyways. Um, so the next program that I want to talk about is... I'm going to skip SNP for a second, and we'll come back to that at the end. I want to talk about this AW app, and it stands for A Web Whiteboard App. So if I get rid of this stuff on PowerPoint, and I go to awapp.com, another way you can get there is if you just literally type in AW app into Google, it should be your first option. So um, this is what the whiteboard looks like. It's just like a giant whiteboard canvas, and you can kind of draw on this thing. And um, you get a lot of different palette options here at the top. So you get red, green, blue, like all those different colors. Another nice thing that you get is you can control the pen size. So I can make it really, really big and block it so it's easy to read. Or if I want to write like very small and fine. So... Um, this is this thing is really good for underlining thing um, sentences. So if I have like sentences on here, I can underline it. Um, so most of the time, I use for my videos when I'm recording math problems, I use this this font because it's it's probably the best for writing my x squareds plus my two x's or any of the my math stuff that I use. And it really I like this one because it comes out very bright and you have a lot of control over what you write. Now you might be saying to yourself, well, if you can only write stuff on the whiteboard, that's not that useful. And that wouldn't be. But there is a lot of different options. So if you click on this, this, this pencil right here on this left-hand side, you'll see all the different options that you get. One option is text. So I can type anything that I want. And you'll notice my text came out super small. And you're like, well, that's kind of too small to read on this thing. You can control your text by this bubble size. So as you can see, like I can start writing bigger things by having a larger bubble. You also in here, if you click on that letter again, you also have an image option. And so I can come in here, and most times what I do is I grab a problem, and then I can put the problem up at the top and talk about underneath it as long as I change back to the pen. So um, it does, the only thing that I don't like is it doesn't make the images. Um, you can't make them very, very big. They still stay kind of small. But if you change the size of your, your recording area, it's still n not that hard to see. So it still, it still works pretty well. So this is one thing that I use is a web whiteboard, and it's pretty useful. Again, you have this hand option to the side, which will allow you to scroll, and that can be very useful. So it like this is a constantly expanding space. Once you run out of space, you can keep scrolling down, and then once you run out of space again, you get to keep scrolling down. So this whiteboard is infinite in all directions, which makes it really nice, especially when you're putting in pictures, you're writing under those pictures, you have to write under it again. It, it has a lot of um, possibilities for me in math. I don't know about some other subjects, but it, it, it's very useful for me as a writing surface, and using the different colors instantly is really helpful. The other program that I'll kind of show that I use in conjunction with this thing is called SNP. Now, we're going to have to take a second to download SNP, because I'll get rid of this. But this is, this is what SNP looks like. It's over, it's over here on the top, and it normally stays on the top unless you hit close and get rid of it. If you want to get SNP, um, easiest way to find SNP is go SNP, 
Office. And I know it instantly picked Office Mix for me. But um, if you get Snip Office, the first thing on there is it'll be this program right here. And then you just click Download at the top. And it does the exact same thing. So you just download it and install it. Once you install it, you get this thing at the top. It's kind of like the snipping tool that's down here for me. But what Snip allows me to do is it allows me to take an image and then I can draw on that image much of the same way that I did before. You can erase everything. That's kind of a nice feature and it just erases your writing and it doesn't erase the other stuff here. You don't get as many color options, you just get a couple. You can't choose your pen size. Um, well, you can choose your pen size, but it doesn't, the difference between big and small, like small is almost unreadable, big is way too big, so really you, you, you kind of have to stay in, uh, in the middle range if you want to do most things. But um, it has a built-in recorder. I don't use it's built-in recorder a lot of times because I'll switch from my whiteboard to do different things here and then I'll s switch to this because it's better at like stealing an image and writing on an image and then switch back. So I generally don't use the recorder here. I also found that the audio quality in this recorder is very bad. Um, so screencast and max a little bit better. But those are those two different tools that you can use. Like a web whiteboard is a really nice whiteboard platform to work with. Snip is a really nice um, program for capturing things and being able to write and draw on different things. And it has a, like a pretty good erase feature so you can clear all the stuff that you don't want pretty quickly.